The Little Mermaid and Finding Nemo have some explaining to do. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest things found in the ocean. For this list, we're taking a dive down into the depths of the ocean to see just how mysterious and creepy things can get under the waves. We're going to be exploring a variety of sea creatures, lost structures, and natural phenomena that have given even the most experienced divers the creeps. So take a deep breath and come with us as we dive into the ocean's frightening depths. Number 10. Train Wreck Under the Sea Beginning our dive into what creepy objects await us in the abyss of the ocean, we have a locomotive graveyard located off the coast of New Jersey. Divers and archaeologists discovered two rare locomotives under 90 feet of water in 1985. Making this even more strange is the fact that these trains are from the 1850s. Exactly how the locomotives got there is still up for debate. Researchers believe that a storm was the cause of their disappearance when they were being transported on a barge from Boston. There are hopes to resurface and restore the two trains, but as things stand, no concrete plans are in place to lift these 15-ton behemoths up from their ocean graveyard. For now, they make for quite the creepy diving landmark. Number 9. A Village from the Stone Age The next stop on our journey under the waves takes us to an ancient Neolithic village. Submerged under the Mediterranean Sea, the new Stone Age settlement known as Atlit Yam is located off the coast of Atlit, Israel. Carbon dated somewhere between 8,900 and 8,300 years old, this once populated place gives off some really spooky vibes. It's believed that a volcano that triggered a tsunami in nearby cities is what also led to the sudden desertion of the inhabitants of this society. As well, there is some research pointing to rising sea levels at the time as to the cause of Atlit Yam's demise. Adding to its eeriness are unearthed skeletons and burial sites. You see, the, the village is 40,000 square meters. Mm -hmm. This information was gathered after uh, 25 years of exposure. Archaeologists have also found piles of fish ready to trade that were quickly abandoned, making scientists believe Atlit Yan had to be abandoned quickly. Number 8. Black Smokestacks For this creepy item, we'll have to take a deep dive under the waters off the coast of the Galapagos Islands. There it is. Wow. Oh my God. The iconic structure of oceanography. Looks like a little beehive up there, it huh? It does, doesn't it? Giant hydrothermal vents that spew black smoke were first discovered here in 1976. These black smokers, which can reach sizes of almost 200 feet, are found between 8,200 to 9,800 feet under the sea. Black smokers on the sea floor bring up valuable raw materials from inside the earth. Their meter-high vents seem to give off clouds of smoke-like underwater industrial chimneys. When superheated water from below the Earth's crust meets the cold ocean water, the ominous black smoke is formed. The superheated water can reach temperatures as high as 752 degrees Fahrenheit. These vents also host various types of sea life, such as aquatic snails, shrimp, and giant tube worms, which survive off bacteria that use the minerals found within the water from the smoke clouds. Number 7. Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon Located off the coast of Chuck Lagoon, an area previously called Truck Atoll, is a watery graveyard littered with sunken military ships, planes, vehicles, and more. That's because this area, which is found northeast of New Guinea, was the site of Operation Hailstone, a surprise attack against the Japanese fleet during World War II. This air and surface attack saw the sinking of over 40 ships and hundreds of other land and air vehicles. The Ghost Fleet now acts as a tourist attraction for many divers every year, who tell of their experience at Chuck Lagoon by sharing stories of towering empty battleships reclaimed by coral and fish. Be warned, human remains have even been found among the wreckage. Number 6. Great Blue Hole Here we have a giant underwater sinkhole filled with sharks. Dropping down to a gut-wrenching depth of 407 feet, the Great Blue Hole is as terrifying as it is amazing. Jacques Cousteau, the renowned French explorer, ranked the Great Blue Hole as one of the world's top five diving destinations after making his own trip there. Divers can find various species of fish, like the midnight parrotfish, swimming around in this massive sinkhole, located off the coast of Belize. Though it is obviously beautiful, an underwater dive into the Great Blue Hole can also be scary thanks to the presence of reef sharks, bull sharks, and hammerhead sharks, which can be seen in its crystal clear waters. Number 5. The Lost City of Dwarka the ancient kingdom of Krishna Dvaraka was once located in what's now known as modern-day Dwarka in northwest India. Legend has it that Krishna settled and administered his kingdom in this lost city of Dwarka, which was a flourishing port city that's believed to have been lost when it was submerged under the sea. And this city could be 
one of the oldest civilizations known to man. They've found some walls and they've found some stuff that carbon dates 32,000 years ago. Historical records date the ancient city all the way back to 574 AD. However, 20th century archaeological findings of ruins featuring ancient sculptures and pottery have linked them to a city-state that could have existed as early as 1500 BC. Picture and video footage taken from the site are absolutely breathtaking, while the very recognizable stone streets and buildings make for a simultaneously awesome and creepy experience. Number 4. Spanish Galleon San Jose This story of sunken treasure begins all the way back in 1708 off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. The enormous Spanish Galleon San Jose was part of a treasure fleet. Laden with gold, silver, emeralds, and other gemstones collected from Spain's South American colonies, the San Jose was sunk in battle off the coast of Cartagena. The San Jose went down during battle in 1708 off the coast of Colombia, with millions of pieces of gold, silver, and jewels on board. The Colombian government says the ship found laying on its side identified by its unique bronze cannons with engraved dolphins. Its specific location is now a closely guarded secret due to its estimated value of $17 billion. Along with all the treasure that made its way to the bottom of the ocean, so did all but 11 of its 600-strong crew. It had everything. The cargo manifest lists gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, all of the wealth and taxes collected over six years from Colombia, Panama, and Peru. Plans are currently being drawn up to retrieve the treasure, but many obstacles still remain. Dive teams have kept the exact location of the galleon secret for obvious reasons. It was found in a thousand feet of water during what was very much a high-tech treasure hunt. Number three, the Antikythera mechanism. If it hadn't been discovered when it was in 1901, no one would possibly believe that it could exist because it's so sophisticated. Next up, we have a 2,000-year-old analog computer that is shrouded in mystery. In the early 1900s, divers found a corroded, emerald green clock-shaped mechanism at the site of an ancient Roman shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera, an island north of Crete. Believed to have been used to track the paths of the sun, moon, and the planets, the true use of the Antikythera mechanism has left researchers baffled for many years. In 2006, CT scans of the bronze mechanism were published, giving details on what's written on it and what's inside of it. Researchers are still working to decipher its hidden inscriptions and make sense of many of the missing parts. Some have argued that it's so complex, the Greeks couldn't have made it at all. There are even some who say it must have been created by aliens. The Antikythera mechanism really goes to show how many surprises are sitting, waiting to be discovered down in the cold, watery depths. What do they think that is now? Um, it, it tracks the movements of the planets. It's a, it's a navigational device. It's, uh, it, 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 it's a geared, cogged uh, mm. system that allows you to track the passage of time and figure out where you are. It's, a, it's some kind of navigational device. It's not fully understood. Number two, a giant mysterious eyeball. You are not going to believe your eyes. Or, or should we say I when you see this? A single humongous eyeball, about the size of a softball, was found washed up on Pompano Beach in Florida in the early 2010s. At first, many thought the eyeball belonged to a large fish, like a tuna or deep water fish. After some research, it came to be believed that the eye may come from a giant squid. But a later discovery of bones around the eye, as well as more analysis, ruled out the giant squid conclusion. Researchers of Florida Fish and Wildlife say the softball-sized eyeball is likely from a swordfish. As of October 2012, researchers are fairly sure that the eye belonged to a massive swordfish. So Florida beachgoers beware, we guess. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jemchug Canyon Our journey under the waves now takes us to the Bering Sea in the Pacific Ocean. Jemchug Canyon is an unimaginably deep hole. The largest canyon on the planet is the Zemchug. It's nearly two miles deep at its deepest point and 144 miles long and 62 miles wide. At 8,530 feet deep, Jemchug is not only the deepest ocean canyon, but it's also over 2,500 feet deeper than the Grand Canyon. Home to countless deepwater marine life species, the submarine canyon is both the stuff of wonders and nightmares. 
even though we don't usually think about it as all being connected, if you lose one element of this very delicate ecosystem, it can really have far-reaching effects. A handful of researchers have taken submersible crafts into it, but none has yet been able to reach the bottom. Its sheer size adds numerous complications that have made its exploration a difficult task to this day. It'll most likely take many dives into its dark depths before Zhemchug Canyon is fully explored. And who knows who or what is down there? You're in the largest canyon in the world and no one's ever been there before. There's so little known about this area that we're gonna see species that we didn't know existed. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.